Hello everyone, my name is Francesco Verdoia from Halto University and today I'll be talking about the potential of smarter multilayer maps in robotics. So when thinking about robotic mapping today, we have a situation in which robots usually interact with different maps. For example, occupancy map will be used for navigation and semantic map will be used for other tasks involving higher level understanding of the environment. Uh, the maps used usually are created through machine learning methods which uh, are prone to making mistakes and also usually provide only point estimates about, their, uh, about what they are trying to estimate. And another shortcoming of the current framework is that usually maps are treated independently. The robot, depending on the task, will interact with the map more related to that task. And even high level task will uh, employ the, the map sequentially instead of uh, all reasoning on all of them at the same time. And this creates a very uh, hard to deal situation for high level reasoning. For example, uh, modern reinforcement learning methods uh, have uh, very hard time using this co this sort of mapping frameworks and most most often than not they rely on not using maps maps at all to navigate an environment so we propose today a paradigm shift from single sources maps to a multi-layer mapping formalization which we will refer to as hypermaps uh, where all the information contained in different maps is maintained together in relationship to each other by treating the different maps as layer in a single framework. So in this picture, which comes from a recent work by uh, the group led by Luca Carlone at MIT, we see, for example, uh, metric and semantic information tied together spatially, but then we see also other layers where the relationship is not spatial but it's instead hierarchical. So for example, recognizing room together with buildings. So what we can do once we have a framework like this in place is to employ AI techniques directly on the mapping information to extract knowledge which directly couldn't be accessed on any of the maps singularly. And we imagine that passing to this framework could allow new research opportunities to open. So for example, we could use uh, the correlation between the different layers to do anomaly detection and recognize mistakes in, in the mapping procedure in one of the layers and employ active strategy to go and correct the map in these areas. We could also use the content in the, in the layers to estimate part of the map which are not present in one of the layers. So for example, if I don't have the semantic information of a room, I could use the semantic information in the other rooms to estimate what the objects in that room are. I could also look at the content of the different layers to try to detect invisible properties of the environment which cannot be detected on any of the layer independently. So for example, if I want to detect uh, glass walls which are not visible in the occupancy map, I could use the information contained in the people flow map to see that an openings where no one is ever walking through is probably not a door but is instead a wall. And lastly, one very interesting research opportunity would be the development of virtual planning layers in which the information from different maps is combined to generate new maps that are the perfect ones to be used for different specific high-level planning tasks. And what we mean by this is that we could process the content of the map to uh, move to a data representation which is task specific and could simplify the planning problem. So for example, we could have a cost map where if we are interested in fetching a map in the kitchen, the cost map will gu guide the robot toward the mag or if we want to, for example, remap on certain areas, the content of the map already guide us toward the area to be remapped. And this could lead even simpler planning strategies to move the robot toward the, the goal of the task. So in conclusion, we think that a paradigm shift from single sources map to a multi-layer mapping formalization is necessary in robotics. And we think that this could open interesting research opportunities by the use of AI on the data that is available in this framework. And finally, we propose that building task-specific maps and processing the data contained in the map will lead to a simplification of the high-level planning problems and finally to a richer and deeper understanding of the environment in robotics.
Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. If you want to read the full paper, you can find it in Arxiv at the link that you find on the screen. Thank you very much.